Hey there, Vlsi enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, all about Vlsi. I'm your host Garov, and today we have an exciting topic to dive into, functional coverage in system Verilog. Now, for those of you who are new to system Verilog or functional coverage, don't worry, we've got you covered. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated with the latest VLC content on our channel. Alright, let's jump right into it. So, what is functional coverage? Well, in a nutshell, functional coverage is a metric used in hardware verification to ensure that the design under test, DUT, has been thoroughly exercised during simulation. It helps us answer questions like, have we tested all the different functionalities of our VLC design? Or how much of our code has been tested? And this, my friends, is crucial in verifying the correctness and completeness of our hardware design. Functional coverage equals quality assurance. Now, you might wonder, how does functional coverage work? The answer lies in the magic of system Verilog. It provides us with constructs to monitor and collect data on the various functionalities in our VLC design during simulation. This data is then used to create coverage models, allowing us to measure the effectiveness of our test suite. System Verilog, Functional Coverage So, why is functional coverage essential in the world of VLC? Imagine you're baking a cake, yum! Functional coverage acts as a checklist to ensure you've added all the right ingredients and followed the recipe correctly. Without this checklist, you might miss some key ingredients, and your cake won't turn out as delicious as expected. Similarly, in VLC verification, functional coverage acts as our checklist, making sure we test every aspect of our design and avoid any potential bugs slipping through unnoticed. Functional coverage, the verification checklist. Now, let's look at some of the key components of functional coverage in system Verilog. Cover groups. These are the building blocks of functional coverage. Cover groups define what we want to monitor and collect data on during simulation. Think of them as containers that hold coverage-related information for specific events or conditions. Cover groups, the data containers. Cover points, cover points are like the ingredients in our checklist. They define the specific points in our VLC design we want to cover. For example, if we have a counter, we might have a cover point for its value range. Cover points, the verification ingredients. Cross coverage, cross coverage explores interactions between different cover points, allowing us to capture scenarios where multiple events need to occur together. Cross coverage, capturing interactions. When we run our simulation, the coverage data is collected, and we can generate reports to visualize the results. These reports show us which parts of the VLC design have been thoroughly tested and which areas need more attention. Functional coverage reports. As VLC designs become more complex, having robust functional coverage becomes increasingly critical. It helps us make informed decisions about the quality of our verification process and ultimately leads to more reliable and bug-free VLC designs. Reliable and bug-free VLC designs. That's a wrap on our introduction to functional coverage in system Verilog for VLC designs. 
We hope you found this overview helpful and that it sparked your interest in the fascinating world of Vulsi verification. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave your comments down below with any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Thanks for tuning in today to All About Vulsi. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more exciting Vulsi content. Until next time, happy verifying!